had landed in Paris for a short summer break and had headed down to the world famous Eiffel Tower where people come to visit from all over the world. Along the way I came across a group of students from a nearby university. How come you're in We're Paris? We're in the same university. Ah. American University of Paris. Okay, cool. Thanks. The weekend, so you're yeah, chilling, yeah. right? Or, no. Drinking. 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 <laughs> Anyone got any receipts? Yeah. I know I bought a lot of alcohol today. Yeah. Yeah. I have one. <laughs> yeah. What have we got on there? Don't, don't judge me, though. Oh, this is perfect, <laughs> I think. No. Yeah. No. This is for. 32.10. Ah, oh, I see. Vodka. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's my best friend. Let me try this. This one's yours, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where come from? Turn it in the morning, bro. Where's and Where's the man? He disappeared. Where's the guy? Where's the man? I love the idea of returning something to its original state. Almost as if you were able to go back in time. There's something incredibly powerful about this thought, as it assumes that things are not as permanent as we might otherwise imagine. What's your name? Fulia. Fulia? Ava. Ava? Fulden. Fulden. Nice to meet you. Where are you guys from? Uh, we are from Germany. Germany. Ah, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> awesome. Let me try something with you. Um, okay. I have some cards. All different. Okay. Yeah. Just take one. Mm. Write your name on there. All of you, write your initials. Okay. Ah, perfect. Can you show the camera? As I walked further into the city, the streets sprang to life with cafes and food stores as locals basked in the midday sun. Oh, 
Koş. What food did you buy? Uh, <laughs> can I try something with this? Yes. Can you just open it? Il est musicien tout This might be a little bit weird. Watch. That's weird. I bought a snack. Later that evening, I headed to Belleville, which sits between the 19th and 20th arrondissements and is a hub for Paris's thriving alternative scene. Nice to meet you, Ludo. Nice to meet you. Do you have a ring I could borrow? Yeah. Can I Okay. It's a little bit big for me. Yes. But, um... You see, right now, mm. it's on my left hand, yeah? Next to my wedding ring. Yes. 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 My left hand. Left hand to my right hand. Mm -hmm. right. I'll show you something else using the ring. Watch. Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god. It was a black thing, now it's a cool thing. It makes you feel uplifted. How the hell? That is the envelope. Thursday, 12th of June. The 20th World Cup begins as football fans from across the world descend on Rio de Janeiro.
Back in Paris, I was having a slightly more relaxed time, roaming the streets and cafes of France's capital city. Laura. Laura. Sharon. Sharon. I want to try something with you. Okay. I want to try get inside your mind a little bit. Okay. Yeah, we try. Just think of any playing card. Sometimes, the simplest magic can be the most powerful. It is this lack of complexity that creates a moment that becomes truly unexplainable. Later that afternoon, I headed to Place Vendôme, which is famous for its luxury hotels and high-end stores. I wanted to see if any of the local shoppers would be up for lending me a few euros. I'm Dynamo, your name is? Eloise. Eloise and? Cynthia. Cynthia, nice to meet you. Are you shopping today or just hanging out? Shopping. Shop shopping. Awesome. I want you to think of a playing card. You got one in mind? I want to try something, but I'm going to need like a 10 euro or 20 or 50, 100. Ten? Yeah. Better you hold the key to my 
The Pont des Arts is one of Paris's most famous bridges and attracts couples from all over the world who come to place lots along its railings. Along the bridge I met a couple who had travelled all the way from Singapore to renew their wedding vows. How long have you two been together? 12 years. 12 years? Yeah. Do you have any kids? Yep. Yes. Two. Two. And one, one coming. Oh, you're pregnant now? Yeah, I'm going to try something with your wedding rings, but I don't want to touch them myself, so um, if you want to place it into the pencil. Is it here? Yes. Place yours on. If you hold this end, and then you hold this end, I just want you to look at each other. Now look at the space in between. The space? Yeah. Oh! Oh my! <laughs> Amazing! How do you do that? Sunday, 15th of June, France versus Honduras. The streets of Paris were overrun with fans as France made its World Cup debut. It was my last day in Paris, and although it had only been a short trip, I had an incredible time and enjoyed roaming around this inspirational city. As I returned back to the hotel, I came across a couple of British tourists at a champagne bar. Visiting the holiday, or yeah, yeah. Uh, for the weekend. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. oh, you got your parents with you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where are they? We, we sent them back to the hotel. <laughs> they love you, and they'll be good yeah. to know here. <laughs> I want to try something with you guys. Okay. okay. Fact. Yeah, we'll try this. Just yeah. Just take your hand and place it on there. Yeah. And your hand here. I want you both just to focus on the bottle. Ha ha ha! 
I decided to go and visit the world famous Moulin Rouge, which has been hosting its iconic cabaret show for over 100 years. After the show, I headed backstage to meet some of the dancers, who to my surprise, were not even from France. These costumes are crazy. I need to join you girls, I need a feather. <laughs> That's fair, right? I'm not quite as flamboyant as you guys, but it's a start. It's a start. Let me show you something strange actually. And you can see if you get the angle right with the feather, you can almost make it look like the feather with the reflection goes right through the mirror. See what? That, that is 
field there, which is pawns and dynamite game. I just think it's amazing. I was back in the UK and I'd headed to a studio in North London to meet one of the world's biggest bands, Coldplay. I'd met the lads 10 years before when I'd managed to bag my way backstage at a concert for their album, X and Y. Yo, this is Dynamo, backstage in the concert, everyone, and check it out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll place it about halfway down, yeah? <laughs> Ten years later, it was great to meet up with them again. Although sadly, this play guy had been taken down with an illness, so was unable to make it along. So the first piece of magic we did today wasn't on camera or anything. We made Guy disappear. We did. What, what happened? Where is he today? You tell us, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck have you done with him? Well, I figured, you know, that I wanted to get him out so I could be the new member of the band. <laughs> yeah, we... Yeah. All right. You guys have known each other for a long time. Yeah. yeah. How long have you actually been a band for? January 1997. 15. 98, sorry. Yeah, 15, yeah. 16 years. Because yeah. I'm really interested in the connection that you guys have built up over the years performing together. Mm -hmm. So I want to try and get that connection in the room right now. If you can, like, with your hands, give us, like, a beat. Yeah? That's good. Keep it going. And then if you can give us, like, using your voice, like, or, like, hum it, maybe give us a melody. <laughs> 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 Okay, get a little bit louder. Good, yeah, yeah. And then, Chris, when you're ready, if you could come in with a harmony. Okay, that's good. Are you coming together now? Okay, great. Stop. I've got something for you all. I've got a pack of cards each. There's one for you, one for you, one for you. Just take them out. Make sure you get all the cards out. Perfect. And then I want you to take the cards and hold them behind your back. And without dropping any, I want you to shuffle the cards. Just give them a mix up. It yeah. might feel a bit weird because they're behind your back, but just, you know, I'm not give them a good really mix up. Now, when you're ready, take one card out, yeah. turn it over, and put it back into the pack so it's facing the opposite direction from all the other cards. And when you've done that, keep mixing the cards up so you have no idea where this card that you've just chosen is. <laughs> when, when you're ready, just bring the cards in front of you and just hold them in front of you like this. Okay, and bring it up. Okay, and then come to the floor. I want you to spread the cards out like this. Okay. Yeah, just spread them out. So you can all see the cards that you turned over. Mm -hmm. I didn't touch the cards. You chose a card at random. There's no way that any of us could know what the cards were going to be, right? No. Do you want to just slide them all forward? Turn them over. Incredible, man. <laughs> OK, 
focus. I want to give you an experience of something that you know better than anybody else in the world, mm. but in a completely unique way. Okay. I want you to think of one of your songs. Mm -hmm. And in your mind, I want you to visualize what that song would look like. So, have you got a song in mind? Yeah. I want you to visualize it now. Okay. Can you say out loud the image that you were visualising? Yeah, loads of uh, watch faces. So was this song you're thinking of clocks? Yeah. I've drawn something a bit more complicated. Mm-hmm. I drew the sun, palm tree on a beach, two kids playing with a kite. Yeah. Paradise. Right. But sometimes it's all about reading between the lines. Look. <laughs> what? Take a look at it. That's wonderful, Diana. That's incredible. We saw him do some magic like 10 years ago when he was only 12. <laughs> and um, he's even better now. I just can't work out how that is possible. Mm. It's brilliant. It's, it's, it makes you feel uplifted. We're just pawns in Dynamo's game. He's probably been writing our songs for years. <laughs> <laughs>
any object. Got something? Yeah. Without saying it out loud, in your head, I just want you to spell out the name of the object. Think of the first letter. It's the first letter of P. Yeah. Here you go. So we've got a P. Just think of a second letter now. I think I know what it is. thinking of? Pencil. Pen... Oh, pencil. Yeah. I was close. Actually, I got a pen. I kind of got it wrong. Tell you what, everyone just focus on the word. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so written in pencil. You <laughs> <laughs> can do this with a pen. Defies my shrink ability. <laughs> I can't analyze this one. <laughs> this is the first time I'm meeting him, and the kids were saying to me, He's absolutely amazing, he does amazing things. And I thought, Yeah, you know. But actually, I'm sitting right next to him, and none of it has been camera tricks. So I'm puzzled as to how he does it. And probably for the first time in my life, I'm quite speechless. <laughs> I just think it's amazing. After meeting Camilla, I went to see some of the younger kids who are supported by the charity. I want all of you to think of a colour. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I've got my colour. Yeah? I want to. Yeah. I want to try this with you. What colour are you thinking of? Yellow. Yellow. Can you point to something yellow in the room? Can you see anything? That bird over there. That bird? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> this one. Oh, God. Okay, let me try this. Oh, I No, 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 no,
<laughs> what, so you're a pirate now? <laughs> <laughs> that for my oh, Easter? Oh, I love He should have said <laughs> Took the bird out the wall. It, it was painted on the wall. Not like it was stuck on it. It was painted on the wall. He closed his hands into the bird, and then he opened it, and the bird came out. Have a good look. I was, I was shot. Sure. That was sick. That was sick. Thursday the 27th of June, with the World Cup heading towards the quarter-finals, I made a trip down to the Sky Sports newsroom to deliver a package to presenter Rob Wharton. agreed that this has been a vintage World Cup already, which has caught the imaginations of football fans everywhere. Among those is magician and Bradford City fan, Dynamo, look, he's here uh, with us in the studio. Thanks for joining us. What have you made of the World Cup in general? Enjoyed it? I think the atmosphere is incredible. And I mean, it's in Rio. I filmed there, did magic over there. So, you know, it's a beautiful place to go to. I guess wherever you go in the job that you do, people say, come on, Dynamo, tell us who's going to win this thing. And they pester you to, to predict your winner, do they? They always get on to me at that. You know, they're always trying to get me to get their team's players to score the goals and win matches for them. I'm always going to get those sort of questions wherever I go. I've got something special for you, though. Have you? Yeah. I've actually bought a gift for you. I don't want you to open it today, but I will come on the programme again in the future at some point, and then we can open it together. But all I need you to do is keep this package safe. Can you do that? I feel a bit scared now. Uh, yes, yes. I, that's there you go. Onerous task. Okay, and it's sealed. I, I, I want to. I want to check that. There you go. Can you seal? See that? That is sealed there. I'm going to put that there. Uh, I'm, I'm actually very nervous. Uh, Dynamo, th thank you very, very much indeed. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll see you again soon. Being in the public eye isn't always easy, but it's great to have a voice and be able to affect some kind of positive change in the world. Like Coldplay, I really admire celebrities who support people who've had a tough start in life. A restaurateur, Jamie Oliver, is one such person. Jamie started the 15 Foundation to help inspire young people from disadvantaged backgrounds and his 15 restaurant is now one of the most successful eateries in the country. How you doing, man? Good, good man. Good. Thanks for having me down here. Yeah, wicked. How's it going? It's pretty good, man. So, do you guys cook in this dinner today? <laughs> you all new people or been here for a while? Eight months. Eight months, oh wow. So these are all students here. So every year we get a new cohort and this is our 12th cohort. Wow. And uh, this is half of them. This is half? Yeah, well the others are working but they're gutted they can't be here so, you know. Wow. You could, you could yeah. give them a bit of time off to come I down know, and I see know, us. But you know, there's other people in charge. Is he, is he, a, is he a good uh, boss or is he hard work? He's alright. <laughs> <laughs> but how long have you been cooking for now? Uh, since I was eight. Since you were eight years old, wow. How many recipes do you think you've come up with? Uh, written? Probably over 3,000 legit written, tested. I want you to think of a recipe. Mm -hmm. Think of all the ingredients. Imagine you're making this dish. In fact, get one of these plates, is that all right? Yeah, go for it, man. 
I think one of the ingredients is actually on this table. Maybe. Do you use vinegar in this? Indirectly. So yeah. you could use vinegar in it, right? Yeah. Balsamic vinegar, right there. I just don't, I've got no idea what he's up to. Think of the main ingredient. Look yeah. at me. Because you can use vinegar to dress it and do yeah. like little pickles and stuff, but not actually. Salmon gravlax is salted, it's got herbs, but then when he said it's the main ingredient and it starts blowing. <laughs> That's really, really spooky. World champions for a fourth time after four weeks that lit up Brazil. Four times world champion! Incredible, and uh, I think Germany really deserved it. It was a perfect game. We had tickets from the very start for this. Yeah, 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 we didn't buy them thinking England would ever make it. <laughs> <laughs> It was the day after the World Cup final and I was heading back to Sky News so Rob Wotton could finally open the package. I had kept its contents highly secret but I'd asked the producers to make sure they had a CD player on hand for the interview. Germany uh, waking up as world champions after their extra time win over Argentina at the Maracanã. Now, how about this? I'm delighted to say that Dynamo has joined us in the studio once again. Well, thank you very much for coming back. Great to see you again. Thanks for having me. Now, you came in two weeks ago, midway through the World Cup. Let's just remind everyone uh, what happened. I've actually got a gift for you. I don't want you to open it today, but I will come on the programme again in the future at some point, and then we can open it together. But all I need you to do is keep this package safe. It has been locked away for the past fortnight. I'm delighted to say our security guard, Dowd, now is here uh, to hand it over. Right, so this is the moment. This is the same box. Right, and there. Right, there we go. That is the envelope. That is it, still. I'm very nervous, actually. Do you get nervous at this point? <laughs> a little bit, but I feel quite good. 
What do you want me to do yeah. now? I don't want to touch it, so I want you to rip open the envelope. Okay. Oh. Responsibility. I'm all jittery. Yeah. Like a jitterbug. Right, right. Okay, let's hold it up there so you can see that I'm breaking the seal. Right, there we go. Okay, so let's... Right, okay. So what is in here? What have we got in here? Let's get it back. So this has been locked away. <laughs> All right, okay. So let's open that. Okay. And there is a CD in here. A CD? Right. There we go. That's got... And you've kept this safe for the last two weeks, right? Yeah. No one's been anywhere near it? No. Am I going to feel a bit creeped out in a moment? I think this is going to be interesting. You can get rid of the box um, and take the CD out. Okay, so this... You've got a CD player here, so if you... We have a CD player pop there. It, just pop the CD there. Oh, my goodness. I can't get okay. it out. All right, there we go. <laughs> okay, I'll just pop, pop it in. in there. And then we can just... Take your finger in a minute, you're going to press play. But when you keep your finger over the play button, because I'm going to ask you to pause it a couple of times. Okay, yeah. what, what, do I so, just press? Whenever you're ready, just press play. It's the 11th of June, and the World Cup starts tomorrow. Here are my thoughts regarding the competition. A world football star will face serious injury. Either Ronaldo, Neymar or Messi. It will be a severe back injury that will end their tournament early. Pause it right there. Oh my goodness. So, right, okay. We know that Neymar, you know, has a serious injury with his back. Yep. Just press play again. Either Italy or Germany versus Argentina. Pause it. Right. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. We'll go again. Okay. At 113 minutes, the youngest player on the pitch will score the only goal and break Argentinian hearts. These are just my thoughts. I hope everyone has a wonderful World Cup. I'll be the same. Wow. Right, okay. How um, on earth? I feel pretty good about that one. And, um, how? How? Yeah. how? Do you know, I've predicted quite a few things in my time, so I felt pretty confident about this. You thought about a job with England? <laughs> Oh, well, they can call me up. <laughs> so they've got a number. They can contact you guys at Sky Sports and we can work it out. Danway, thank you very much. That is uh, brilliant. Yeah. That is brilliant. Well done. <laughs> thank you very much indeed. The extraordinary brand new series of Dynamo Magician Impossible is back here on Watch next Thursday night at the same time of 9 o'clock. Next tonight here on Watch, another chance to catch the C 